So this is just a little conversion demo of uh, all the three different types of conversions we talked about, convert, cast, and try parse, uh, just to illustrate uh, what I mean and all the little nuances that we have to keep in mind when we do this. So for example, um, sorry, just a little preamble, you see all these lines that have these two slashes in front of them. Um, we'll go over this in more detail later on when we talk about professionalism, but essentially what that means is when C Sharp sees those two slashes, it ignores whatever's on the rest of the line during the compiling process. So it just pretends it's not there. So it won't break the program and it won't ever actually be built into the program. So it just ignores it. So the first one we're going to look at is the basic convert. So what I've done is I've created some variables up here. Remember this is a console program so all our variables have to start with the keyword static. So I have up here I have static double mark equals 87.8 and then I have the string text mark and that's going to be for the try parse later on so don't worry about that one for now. Same with this bool was successful that's also for the try parse so ignore that for now as well. Uh, then we have down here the converted mark so this is where we're going to store the actual value. So how do we do this? Well the first thing we do is we have our variables we've created our holder variable all we need to do is do the conversion on each step. So I say assign the converted integer value of mark into the int variable converted mark. So it should store that into there and then it'll output it. And you'll see that I've created a nice user friendly output here, converted mark colon and the actual value. So when we run this, we should get the correct value. So when we run, we get converted mark is 88. Why is it 88? Because remember convert in uh, convert will actually round the data. So if I change this to an 87.3 and run the program again, we get 87 because it does the proper rounding. So I'm going to comment this one out. So I'm just going to put those two slashes on there and get rid of those for now. And I'm going to let the next one go. So the next one is now the casting conversion method. And the casting conversion method works very similar except uh, again we have just the data type that we want to cast it to and then whatever follows that cast is converted or treated as that type. So in this case I just say int. I don't have to say int32 or anything like that. Just int is fine. Now when it's done it throws it into the converted mark variable and then we can output it the same as before. So again we run this now this time we have to remember is that it doesn't round, it truncates. So that point 0.8 has been kicked away. It's gone. It's deleted. So again, if I change this to a point 0.3, we should get still 87, no matter what. And we do. So let's just put that back so we don't lose anything. Um, with that, remember that it has to be, uh, we can't do a string to numeric. So for example, if I try to convert text mark here, which as we see up here is 87.8 in quotes, and I try and run this, I get an error. It says cannot convert type string to int, because it's not allowed. As far as C Sharp's concerned, a string is not an integer, so don't do it. So we're just going to put that back the way it was. And we will comment that out and go down to the next one. Now this is the try parse. You can see this one's a little bit more elaborate because um, there's a lot more involved. Now what happens here is again we have our two holder variables. One holder variable holds the success of whether the conversion occurred or not and the other holder variable, converted mark, holds the actual converted value if needed. So the way this works is on the left hand side of the equal sign is our success so if it was successful, this will be true. If it wasn't successful, this will be false. And on the right-hand side of the equal sign is our expression. So we are trying to convert the text mark, which is currently 87.8 in quotes, so it's a string, to an integer 32. And we're going to store the result of that conversion inside of converted mark. Now, if you recall, I told you that you need to be a lot more precise in these ones. So for example, um, 87.8 isn't actually an integer. So this this conversion will actually fail as we see when we run the program. Conversion success is false. So the converted mark is zero. So whenever the conversion fails, the value stored inside of the resulting value variable is set to zero. Now this can be good and this can be bad because sometimes when you do your conversion, what if it actually was zero? 
well, if you're just depending on that and you don't depend on the successful variable, you could run into some uh, confusion. So to fix this, we could just do 87, we run our program, and we get a true success rate, and our converted mark is 87. Now I told you before that sometimes your data is actually in this decimal form and you can't get around that, it just needs to be like that. Um, and you need that second step because you still want to convert that original string to an integer. And uh, you might run into problems because you can't actually do that using the try parse, but you want to make sure that the user's not entering in bad data like boat or anything like that. So we got to be conscious of this. So what we could do is I'm going to create a third variable I'm going to say static double, and this is going to be, um, let's call this our mid conversion, mid convert mark. And what this value is going to hold is the conversion from our original text to a double. And then we're going to use the original convert method and convert that one into an integer. So we're going to do a two step process. So instead of an in32 here, I'm going to say a double. And I'm not going to convert it into converted mark. I'm going to convert it into mid convert. Oops, I got to spell it right. Mid convert mark. So now it's going to store it in there. Now this was successful is storing whether that conversion was successful. Once we've done that step, once we've converted it into a double, now we're going to do another step, which is because I'm going to convert it into the final mark. So converted mark. We're going to assign it the convert of 32, convert to 2 and 32 of mid convert mark. So in theory, we should have a valid conversion, which will round the 87.8 up to 88 and store and display it appropriately. And we do. Converted mark is 88. And the success was true because it was converting from a double, a string representation of a double to a double. Now, of course, we don't have to use convert method here. We could just as easily use cast. But we got to remember that when we cast it, we lose our decimal places. They get truncated. So our value of 88 is now an 87. And those are the three types of conversions that you will use in this course.